Hey, thanks, Clayton. Let's talk about the weather now. We've been tracking the tropics, a strong storm still in the Gulf of Mexico. It's actually in Texas now as we speak. And this is Tropical Storm Barrel. It was a hurricane. Now it has weakened to a tropical storm. Eventually it will weaken into a tropical depression as it continues to work inland to the north and east. Will it impact us? Not as much as our neighbors to the south, like Texas right now, getting the tropical storm force winds, rain, flooding, some storm surge there. Not in the same way. It will be much weaker, but we will be getting glanced by this system. I guess you could say it won't be a direct hit right over our area, but it will be sliding through the Ohio Valley, eventually working off to the north and east by the weekend. By the weekend, everything's kind of settled down. We're a little bit drier. But as this system is coming through in the next few days, we're gonna get hot, humid out ahead of it with warm southerly winds working in. And we're going to see some degree of some scattered showers and thunderstorms. It doesn't look like a lot of widespread rain. It doesn't look like a big severe chance. Most of that's gonna be out of our area. But it's gonna come close enough to give us a little bit of unsettled weather, especially in the next couple of days. We could see a stray shower storm today. We're hot, we're humid, we've got enough energy for that but the chance of rain stays pretty slim tonight overall. Most of us stay dry, but we are steamy. Look at the 80s out there, 90s for some, and that's above normal for this time of year. We're still gonna be just as hot and humid tomorrow too, so stay cool, stay hydrated. Our satellite and radar again showing a few showers and storms as I mentioned, but the bigger threat again will come later this week. There's barrel to our south continuing to move inland as we speak. The dew points will really rise tomorrow. That's gonna to be the peak of our humidity. It will be steamy out there. It's gonna feel warmer than it is because of that humidity. But once that system gets out of here, as I mentioned, we're cooler and drier through the end of the week, not as humid by the weekend. We will be unsettled the next couple of days as this system's coming through. But as I mentioned, not a washout, just on and off scattered showers and storms as the remnants of barrel kind of sideswipe our area little cold front works its way through and that's going to give us that little cool down on the back side of it into late week. As you can see, heavier axes of moisture, I guess you can see these, these red areas, this is where the really intense moisture is, going to stay to the coast and it's going to stay just to our west. So flooding, not a huge concern here. We could see some isolated downpours, some heavier rain here and there and kind of dancing across the region here just around our area. And there is the slim chance we could see a stronger storm. Generally, the severe threat stays out of our area. So we should be on the quiet side. Uh, by Thursday, we're quieting down, seasonable through the end of the week, warm, but not as unsettled by the weekend. Hey, with the chance of storms before sunset even today, there's also the chance of seeing a rainbow. But how do rainbows actually form? Our Tim Cha.